It's a big deer. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I make videos relating to hunting, fishing, and all things uh, relating to the outdoors that I think are pretty interesting. So opening day of muzzleloader here in New Hampshire is November 2nd this year, 2019. It was a Saturday. And I spent the morning uh, trying to just find anywhere that I've been in before that didn't have somebody parked there so that I could hopefully uh, at least have a chance at killing a nice buck. And I spent uh, probably till just after sunrise driving around being discouraged by all the trucks that were out. I think I counted like 30 trucks on just two roads uh, here in New Hampshire. So it was a little bit discouraging, but I ended up going to a spot that I know pretty well and turns out there was actually nobody parked there when I went in, uh, which I was pretty excited about. So I head into those woods and I go about 200 yards in or so to the end of the first ridge. And on that first ridge was a small hemlock about an inch in diameter with a, a fresh rub on it. So I decided to do a little bit of calling because there's a bedding area located about 100 yards away from that, uh, the end of that ridge. And I did, and all that I got was uh, some, some noise between me and the road. So I looked back and there were uh, five guys walking through the woods towards me. and I don't know why they didn't say hi. I think I know who they were, but anyways, they walked around me and went straight down like the, the steepest point of the ridge you could go down. So I got really discouraged and it was still early, probably, uh, you know, seven, 7.40 by now or something like that. And uh, anyways, I was feeling pretty discouraged, debating on what to do when I heard what I thought was them running back up the, uh, the ridge at me and turns out that it was what I'm guessing is a small doe. She came hauling back up that ridge that they went down about a minute and a half after they went in. And she stopped uh, about 50 yards from me in some thick stuff where they went down right on uh, their scent line. And as soon as she hit their scent, she beamed right back in uh, deeper into the piece, uh, kind of cutting across me. So she cut across me further into the woods and I gave out one little small bleat uh, I'm guessing that it was a she. I didn't get a real good look at her. She, in her strides and everything, she was hauling through the woods. So regardless though, she wanted nothing to do with the call or she didn't hear it or something like that. So I was standing there still deciding on what to do, whether to go sit the bedding area or just beat feet and get out of the woods. So I walked about 10 yards towards the bedding area and I could see a little bit of a ways into it. It's just a bunch of thick hemlocks that uh, really hold the weather off and the wind off and everything like that, kind of up on top of a, a little ridge. So I, uh, I could see about 80 yards into those. And well, I guess the rest of the story will be picked up just after the shot here in a second. I start walking towards the bedding and I see uh, a body of a deer come through. So I still have the, the call on, uh, on the bleat. And I give out one little, real small, like, like kind of like a greeting, uh, doe call, no reaction, no response, and the, I see the body of the deer keeps moving through these thick hemlocks. It's still pretty dark. The sun's, the sun's just coming up back here, so still pretty dark in the hemlocks and everything, and I see his body going through, so I'm like, okay, he's probably 80 yards. I called again, and uh, finally got him to swing his head, and I didn't see antlers or anything. I heard something back behind me again, so I was looking back knowing that he couldn't see me and gave out two more calls and then he just beelined it. I saw him wag his tail once and beelined it right towards me and I probably took the shot at about uh, 30 yards or something. I could have shot him with the bow almost but I saw the antlers and it looks like a good six point at least. I'm not really sure. I, I haven't killed too many big deer so we'll uh We'll see what he is. He, he laid down right up here, uh, just over this this crest. It's real hilly in here. This is like, I, I don't know if I consider it big woods, but it's a big piece of woods for, uh, for what I hunt. So I'm gonna go up and see where I hit him. Uh, and then he should be just, just out of sight over this ridge here. Looks like it's gonna be a long hit. We're close to it. That's what I put it on. I put it on shoulder. 
Okay, so here's where we started. I can't believe he came right, right up. I love calling deer, but it doesn't always work like that. There's his blood trail. I don't know if you guys can see him at the end of it, but there he is. You can see all these kick tracks through it. Things you gotta look for in case we didn't see him just drop here. Given there's visible blood and everything, but uh, also where he was hauling through, you can see that as well. Man, that's a big body deer. Looks like I went right through the shoulders, not ideal for the meat. Oh. It'll be like a nice eight point. All right, we're all unloaded. Verify that he is expired. Oh man, am I happy with that? He's just a small little basket on him. That's probably not my biggest, but uh, one of my biggest. He's right up there. All right, I got my tag on him, and uh, I'm going to leave my bag here. I'm only about 200 yards or so off the road, so I'm going to go back to my truck, meet my dad, and uh, get some help to get him out of here. Pretty solid deer, though. Pretty good. Nice deer. Right there was the entrance. 130? Probably right about that, right? Two and a half year old or so. Dad's getting some pictures. We are ready to drag. I'm not going to gut him out here just because all it does is feed the coyotes. If I got him back at the house, it'll feed the birds instead, which uh, I think is a better option. We got enough coyotes around here right now anyways, so let's get to dragging. Fifty-six point two. I didn't uh, take out the gambrel there earlier. We took it out, so it is a one hundred and fifty-four pound deer, which is now my biggest deer to date. Well, guys, I hope that you really enjoyed that clip of uh, after the shot. I apologize for not being able to get the shot on film, but I figured I'd still uh, still bleh, still share this story with you, and I uh, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's still really early in the season. We got plenty of more time left and I got four more tags to fill so I will be out in the woods and hopefully I can bring you guys along for it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one.